Hi everybody, it's Ruth Backlund from Energy Work Smile Fast Release. I thought I would take a little bit of time this afternoon to actually come live from my treatment room um, to talk about, you know, some of the common responses I get when I'm treating patients on the table. And probably the number one response to a new person coming in is, um, well, I feel the pressure of where your hand is, or I feel your fingers there. Um, that's, that's probably the number one thing. Um, so, you know, obviously asking to go deeper. Okay, so you feel my hands. Do you feel, do you feel a sensation deeper? Do you feel a sensation reaching, you know, to other parts of your body? Does it travel anywhere? And, you know, for a brand new person coming in, you know, oftentimes the answer is no. It's just right under where my, where my hands are and my elbow is. And as people get more in tune to feeling what's going on in their body, when they quiet their mind and they soften, then they can start to feel where um, where I am working actually connects to other areas. So they might feel, so if I'm working in somebody's abdomen, they might feel something sheer all the way across. They might feel something reach up into their neck. They might feel something going down their leg. There's all kinds of different things that they might feel. Um, sometimes there's a pulse, sometimes there's a vibration, things of that nature. So. You know, the number one response that I get is, well, I feel pressure where you're, where you're holding or where your hands are. Um, so then the next response that I typically get is, okay, well, what do you feel? Okay, now that they just told me what they think they're feeling, which is generally at a surface level, um, sometimes I see, I see things like in a, in a pattern. I might see a color. Blue and purple are very common for me to see when I'm really grounded and centered. So that's just a... I don't know, for me it's just a resonance that I'm in the right space to be working because I'm in the moment and I'm not thinking about everything else that's going on in the world. I'm here one-on-one -on -one with this human being and our energy is connecting and um, then I know I'm in a really good spot when I'm starting to see you know, blues and purples because that for me is, is my signal that I'm being very grounded in that moment. Um, but sometimes I do get, you know, patterns that do pop up and that doesn't mean anything for me necessarily. I mean, it's just, it could be a flash moment. It could be something for the patient. It could be something the patient's triggered in me, you know, so I don't worry too much about those kinds of things. Um, sometimes a patient will trigger something that I need to work on as well. So, um, for example, if I'm, if I'm working on somebody's, you know, if I'm doing an arm pull on somebody and I'm feeling something in my own shoulder, that's probably an area that I need to work. So they're triggering me. So they're actually helping me be aware of some things that are kind of stuck in my body as well. So if you didn't know you were helping me at the same time, guess what you are. Um, I actually do sometimes take the opportunity to do an added stretch. So if I am doing an arm pull, I might actually exaggerate the stretch because you've triggered something in me that I know needs attention. So I'm going to adjust my position so I'm working on you as well as myself at the same time. So if you're in my office in the near future, you might want to pay attention to that. You might catch me doing that. So, um, but some other things that, you know, that I'm always looking for and I try to draw the attention to for, for patients is, you know, a lot of times as the tissue starts to release and softens, um, sometimes there's heat that starts coming out. So I ask them, you know, do you, do you feel this getting warmer under here? What do you feel? Or if I feel a vibration, do you sense that vibration? You know, things of that nature. What I feel might be very different than what the patient is feeling on the table. So I like to try to draw awareness to things that I notice that are changing for them if they're you know, not um, not noticing themselves or they're very much out of their body and need to be, need to have attention drawn to what is really going on so they can start to pay more attention. Like if, if they're chatting a lot, they're not paying attention to what's going on in their body. If they're falling asleep, they're not paying attention to what's going on in their body. If they're um, looking at other things or thinking about other things, what they're going to make for dinner that night or, you know, what they got to run back to work and do something else, they're not paying attention to what's going on in their body. So I am redirecting them to feel what's going on in their body. Okay, so that's why I do that. Um, but one of the things I wanted to demonstrate for you today is, um, you know, one of the things that I can feel as well, and a patient might feel this too, is, you know, as the tissue starts to open up, there's really a softening and a melting of the tissue um, as it opens up. Now, it's usually really tiny, tiny pieces, but it feels like it's a mile, okay? So, so it's kind of like taffy pulling. And so I have a little piece of silly putty here, and I want to give you a little demonstration of what that might be like. So, 
you know, with myofascial release, it's their long holds, you know, it's a minimum of 90 seconds just to start a release, but it really takes a good three to five minutes to get a good release in there. And you can actually stay longer and go release after release after release to really open up the space. Okay. So, but I'm going to demonstrate with you with some silly putty, what that might look like as the tissue starts to open up and softens and melts. Okay. So I'm going to do this really quick you see a snap that's a forceful technique we do not do forceful techniques with the myofascial stretching there is some soft tissue mobilization techniques that are more aggressive um, that will break up cross-link tissues and things of that nature the majority of the myofascial stretching that we do is actually a very long and gentle stretch and it isn't forceful okay so I'm going to take this piece of silly putty and do this again so I'm just going to put light pressure on this, light tension, and I'm just going to let it soften. I'm not going to force anything. So you can see it's already starting to pull a little bit. It's really gentle. It's starting to stretch. There's no force involved. It's just light, gentle traction, much like I would do with an arm pull or a leg pull or uh, maybe even a, you know, a cross hand release technique. But you can see how this tissue is stretching like taffy pulling and opening up the space. So that's what I wanted to show you today, no force. That's what a myofascial release can feel like in a lot of instances. It's just that long, slow stretch as the tissue opens up. So just wanted to give that little bit of tidbit for you today because those are some common questions and responses that I get in my office. And um, so any of you who uh, have been in my office and you're scheduled to come in in the next month or two, um, pay attention to some things if you know if I'm working on you and you see me shift um, You might catch me stretching myself as well. So anyway, have a good day